Hello, how are you? Welcome back. Today we've got blonde narcissistic bombshells. I'm hilarious. And incredibly smart. The DMV knockout heard round the world. You ready? Are you ready? The mini golf meltdown. Come on, you And much, much more. And her shirt say God on it. Welcome back to Brain Worms. Let's get into it. If you're ever having a hard day, just remember, I've been cheated on. I've been cheated on. I don't have the beauty filter on, and these are my real eyes. And I've been cheated on. If you've been cheated on and you feel insecure, it's never about you. I've got a sneaking suspicion we're gonna get a pretty clear picture of why being this girl's man might actually suck, despite her having conventional beauty on her side. Surely it can't be about me. You might be thinking, well, maybe her personality sucks. No, unfortunately not. Unfortunately, yes. You're literally disproving that statement in real time as you record this video, let's go on. I'm hilarious and incredibly smart. And modest. <laughs> and I got cheated on. And if you didn't get cheated on, you're not feeling insecure and you're just having a bad day. Just remember, somebody had me. They were in a relationship with me. Wrapped around his fucking finger, I would have married this guy. Mm. Fumbled. Lost me for good. Forever. So you could be having the worst fucking day of your whole life. But you're not that guy. Thank Christ. So it's not that bad. Unless you are that guy. And in which case, stop watching my videos and my Instagram stories and texting my family. You weird, weird little man. That's all. I'm gonna go cry. But I'm not that guy. So I won't cry too much. Well, uh, as cringe and difficult as it was to watch that video, maybe she had an emotionally charged out of character moment there when she made it. And the guy did really fumble the wife of the decade. No, no, no. Just imagine making a video like that. Either way, I'm going to take your advice. Stop watching my videos. I will stop, I promise. I'm actually going to go cry. A lot. Because I am that guy. Fuck you, Becky. Your personality sucks and your cousin has better eyes anyway. Now, this video is interesting. It takes a little while to unfold. But what we're about to see is absolute lights out in the DMV. But first, I need to keep the lights on in the OFFICE, so thank you to today's video sponsor, Rocket Money. I'll see myself out. I have a hell of a time trying to keep track of all my monthly subscriptions. In my line of work, I'm signing up to a new subscription service, what feels like weekly, and a lot of them just get lost in the sauce and I end up continuing to pay for them long after they've served their purpose. I'm assuming you can relate to this particular challenge because more companies move to a subscription model every day. Well, today's sponsor, Rocket Money, is here to help. Rocket Money is the all-in-one finance platform that helps you cancel subscriptions, lower your bills, and manage your money better. It's already helped me free up some budget by canceling my unwanted subscriptions, which they will do for you safely and securely from within the app with just a couple of taps, and their intuitive budgeting features are incredible for keeping track of where your precious money is going. And those of you looking to manage and increase your credit score will find their suite of features indispensable in that journey. Rocket Money has helped save its customers up to $740 a year when they use all the features with over 500 million canceled subscriptions. So if you want to save more, spend less, and join the over 5 million members using Rocket Money today, go to rocketmoney.com slash Leon Lush or click the link in the description to get started for free. You can also unlock even more features with premium. That's rocketmoney.com slash Leon Lush to get started for free. Thank you guys so much for listening. I appreciate you. So... No real context leading up to this. That guy starts to get in a little scuffle with what security is. It's just a little love tap there, I think, from the man in the tan. Um, really starts to get heated around 40 seconds. What we soon find out is that the man he was asking was, in fact, quite ready. And the man asking, well, let's just say preparedness is not one of his strong suits. Two. <laughs> of course, I have to cuck you with the black sensor box. And don't get mad at me. It's YouTube doing the cucking. I'm getting cucked as well. They're the ones enjoying it. He eats that first one pretty good. I think it rattles him a little bit, but he's still looking at his eyes. But it's followed up with an absolute Tyson haymaker. 
We get a round of applause from the audience. Absolute glass jaw goes to the floor, but he's not done yet. He's up, and then look at this. <laughs> Where am I? What the, what day is it? <laughs> look at that. Look at that. This dude. Oh, my God. Are you ready? That man just got rocked so hard, his late grandfather's gold tooth just flew out of the coffin. He might as well be on vacation in Belize because he's certainly not at the DMV anymore. At least he doesn't know that he is. See, as you can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. Clearly, one man was actually ready and one man found out. Just search Scuffle at the DMV Reddit if you want to see the uncensored version. Thank you. I'm feeling blessed today. I ain't going to lie. What's your name? Yeah. You want to pick a number one through three? Two. Okay. Flashing the Benjamins. There you go. Have a good day. Did you see her face? Did you see her face? Did you see her face? We're doing a giveaway today. I just wanted to bless you. That's okay. I, mean, I can't. I I hate myself for even uh, like uh, having the slightest chuckle at that. Okay. Because these guys are um, scumbags. Cruel. Uh, oh, there it is. There you go. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Have a good one. <laughs> you know what? Fuck these guys, actually. All they have to do is get the reaction for their stupid TikTok and then be like, just kidding, we got you, and slide them a few Benjamins, right? And then everybody's happy and it makes for a better ending. I think would probably go more viral. But of course, nobody with the means to deliver a blessing, like a big tip, would think to do something so cruel in the first place. Probably just their rent money before dropping it off in a safety deposit box. Mr. Least. <laughs> Good comment. <laughs> Dickheads. This one is an absolute shit show, so I'm going to narrate some of it for you and skip through it a bit. So the context for the setup is obviously people started filming once there started to be an issue, as is tradition. But traditional airline bullshit where the flight attendants get up or they talk to the people that are sitting in the exit rows and they're like, hey, just we have to get a verbal confirmation that if there is an emergency in case of an emergency, as I love to say, uh, you need to be able to help the passengers exit the plane. And this woman apparently refused to agree to do that. She had already turned away the first flight attendant, who was a Caucasian woman she was calling Betty White. And then they got this flight attendant in to try and smooth it over, and it just goes absolutely bananas. You wasting your breath. They gonna take this plane off the ground. Oh, no, they aren't. <laughs> Did you ask her to agree? You ain't doing your job. Biddy. Biddy. I love how the people she's with are laughing like, oh, grandma, you're so funny. You know, you, you told her shit. That's all fun and games till the captain comes out and the airport police get involved. For the couple passengers that we're asking to please be removed. Uh oh. That is, no, my grandson is four years old and he's getting out of school. No, we all agree. No, listen, no one can. Law enforcement will be arriving shortly. I don't like to be these people just have like lawyers on retainer like you're just so accustomed to causing a scene in public over absolutely nothing like making a problem out of the stupidest shit of all time literally agreeing with the flight attendant which is like you're in the exit row can you help people if there's an emergency like in the small chance there's an emergency 99% chance you're gonna be dead anyways but if somehow the plane crashes and everyone's not dead and there's an emergency you think you could help people slide down the slide I'm not ah not me bitch just nod your head and fly the fuck fly, fly home but instead this but instead you get this oh my god I don't get it anyways captain comes out <laughs> She's yelling about her grandson being four, like, oh, I gotta go home and see him. Well, you fucking flew that pooch, didn't you? It gets a little chaotic. Everyone's screaming. <laughs> Police show up. 
Here they come. The bike helmet gets me, dude. You know if the police show up in a bike helmet and rubber gloves, shit's about to go south. More chaos. Check this out. They legitimately had to deboard the plane. I would be fucking irate if I was on <laughs> that airplane and I had to get the fuck off and get my flight delayed. Who knows how long it was delayed because of this absolute idiot. Here she goes. She's about to get taken off in handcuffs. Hold up. There she goes. <laughs> and her shirt said God on it. Cuffed. I mean, you just can't write it up better than that, you know? You'd have more luck finding brain cells in an interdimensional black hole than you would in between that woman's ears. Holy shit balls. But at least she's got God on her side, so I'm sure a miracle is just a prayer or two away. This one is from my beautiful home city of Boston. It looks here like it's Sturrow Drive, if you know you know. Um, this gentleman wants to get off the bus, apparently. Open this. I'm, you think I'm gonna wait like 10, 15, 20 more minutes? Open In this door. traffic? Open the fucking door. Open the fucking door. It's fucking Storo. It takes forever. Why? How the fuck did I get you? Open the door. Oh. You can. Suppose I gotta take a shit. What I said here? What I? I have to go. All right, I gotta go to the bathroom. Let me out. Let me out. You fucking weirdo. Open the door. <laughs> You fucking, you fucking weirdo guy's missing all of his teeth. This is just classic. Yo, it's like you could mistake it for like a New York transit, but the accent is just too obvious. The whole fucking way. Open the fucking door. This guy is dying to get off this bus. Does not like traffic. There's nobody here to hit me. <laughs> so the video ends a bit abruptly, but apparently the OP that was the one recording this said that he eventually threatened the bus driver's life, at which point the bus driver just opened the door and let him off. So the tough truth in this video is that sometimes if you act foolishly and are as insufferable as possible, uh, you might actually get what you want. So no dignity in sight, though. Quite frankly, that was rather timid. I was expecting him to pull down his pants and lay a bender right on the bus floor or something. Just being an insufferable asshole is almost an intrinsic trait of being a Bostonian for a lot of people. Ahoy! Are you looking to build a city where sports fans can be notoriously racist? Yeah, can we also ruin Sweet Caroline for everyone else? Absolutely! Here we go. This one's good. Meltdown after near ace. Come on, you bitch! You fucking skinhead! <laughs> do it, do it! Oh, he was going for the cactus, dude. Go for you, bullshit. Look at this moment of truth. He was. Oh, God, I wish he wailed that cactus so hard. This guy in the back's like taking notes, like. Okay. Nodding. Not inviting this guy back. Life does go on, my friend. You missed a mini golf putt. I can't think of many things worse, but you are tenacious to be able to recover so gracefully from that. <laughs> Absolute travesty. Is it like a makeshift mini golf course set up in a warehouse? Like, what are we doing here? This has to be, I imagine this is some sort of like niche golf, mini golf competition would be my guess. On further investigation in the comments, this is exactly a mini golf uh, tournament of sorts. And there's another video of this guy later in the tournament when he completely throws in the towel after fucking up again. Let's take a look. I love this. Look at the boom mics out and everything. This is a real production here. Not a bad putt. Not a bad putt. 
You know the guy trying to sm- the smooth talk him's like God, just anything to. I just don't want him to throw the club and break someone's cranium. Uh, they're just so scared of him blowing up. Oh, he's done. Oh yeah, three putt, four putt, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The old ten putt. You hate to see it, Kirk. So I was unaware that this mini golf tournament type thing existed. I'm not surprised. There's like a, a niche community for everything in the world now. Uh, like some niche professional mini golfing tournament, in which case I can't think of anything more embarrassing than being the Freemason semi-pro mini golf tournament tour golfer that melts down when his neon ball doesn't make it over Rainbow Bridge. <laughs> You'll get him next year, Kirk. Hang in there, buddy. Honestly, I'm talking shit, but I've had way worse meltdowns over video games, so I should keep my mouth shut. Oh, yeah. I've seen this a million times. This is the old, you know, the classic messing with people in a grocery store because I'm a mentally underdeveloped loser who has nothing else to offer the world content model. These are great, aren't they? If I was president, I would pass the Wood Chipper Act, where every town in America would install a wood chipper by their city hall. And anytime someone like this makes a TikTok of this nature, they get detained and publicly pushed into the wood chipper in front of a crowd of cheering citizens and their local communities. It's also with great joy and responsibility I'm using this moment to announce my race for president of the United States of America in 2024, later this fall. I don't have dementia, I'm not orange, and honestly, I know nothing about politics or what it takes to run a country. So honestly, I'd probably be a pretty good fit. Hi. Hey. What's up, buddy? Make sure she gets home safe. This is my little sister. Alright, thank you so much. I will much. drive home and shoot somebody All if she right. doesn't Good get home night. Safe. Love you. Well, <laughs> what? Uh, dude, that's what I do. You can actually get somebody else. I don't like being threatened. Go ahead and get out. No, no, Go ahead and get out. It's okay to get out. It's okay. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> what an idiot. First of all, that guy sounds exactly like Whistling Diesel. Did you know that combines were invented by the combine industry to sell more combines? It's okay. Yeah, it's all good. Certainly not the first time this girl's probably had to apologize for a dumbass brother. If you, if you don't get home safe, I'm going to go home and do a couple murders. That's right. I'll stop by the local community center and start. Bah, 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 right? Better get her home safe. He's definitely seen too many like alpha older brother Facebook memes. He could have just said, get home safe like a normal person, but that's not alpha enough, obviously. So threaten senseless murder. That'll put the fear of God in him. Or he'll just leave and you've wasted 20 minutes waiting for an Uber and you have to do it all over again. You know what? If you're so worried about her safety, why don't you just drive her home yourself? Oh, that's right. You drank 11 Boilermakers at the Luke Combs karaoke night. I forgot. My fault. Well, if I've learned anything today, it's that you guys need to... Stop watching my videos. I'm being facetious. Please watch all of them and make sure you hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. And subscribe if you haven't. That would mean the world. Thanks for joining me for this edition of Brainworms. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.